is the Big O Show. Hi, we ready to rock. We ready to roll. First of all, I got to say good morning and uh, and thank you, Omar. Thank Four. you. Four. Well, uh, apparently the Paul Castronovo show kept calling you and trying to get you on and you avoided their calls. And so they called me uh, because of the uh, our interview on Tuesday, which, of course, has stirred shit up. Uh, and uh, and I and I told them, uh, I said, well, he you probably didn't answer because you probably you get a bunch of stuff that you don't answer. But I told him anyway, he's exclusive. He can only be on our platform. He couldn't be on your show anyway. So uh, I told him, yeah, I told him this morning when we were on. So we were having some fun. So I don't know why you avoided them. I don't even know if it was for that or if, I'm sure you get 100 requests a day anyway. So I'm, I'm loyal to you, Big O. I'm loyal to you. You and I am athlete and Sun Sentinel. People who put well, money in my paycheck, money okay. in my bank account. That's right. That's uh, that's right. It's just I love the people that think that yeah you know, they think we do all this for free and for fun and you know it's, like, it's not really a job for us and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. No, it takes sponsors. It takes great people like Eric at EJD Construction and you know all our other great sponsors yeah. in order to put this platform together, dude. You know, Omar, we're you know we're up to sixteen people employed on on this platform. Sixteen. That's impressive, but I'm not surprised. Listen, okay. I'm not surprised, and, and uh, thanks to all the sponsors and and people, people got to know that the best way to support the product is to support the sponsors. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm getting ready to call Sloman Steel, see if I can get myself an alarm. Oh, but, there you go, Slomans. Yeah, baby. Uh, there you yeah, go. Eric already does work for me. EJD Construction. I I need him to to get serious about putting the fence in my backyard but i, I gotta get some more big old checks for that okay <laughs> well they're coming they're coming that's for sure so that that, that they're coming and, and they come on time omar which is something that First has never happened to you in in, in locally <laughs> here in south because i'm sure i am athlete pays you on time and i'm sure the sun sentinel pays you on time but all your other experiences have not been you know because i know because i've seen it personally so that's I pride myself that I pay all of our people on time. Okay. So it's a beautiful thing. It's nice. Feels good, actually. No, but seriously, 16 people from restarting it on June 14th. It's pretty good, bro. It's pretty good. And hopefully we'll be adding more uh, by uh, maybe by next year. We double this number with some other things that I want to uh, complete on this platform. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to get it done anyway. Uh, so, um, just out of curiosity, because I got plenty of reaction, what was your reaction from the uh, from the Tuesday uh, interview? On I, I, I live in a bubble, so I generally don't really pay attention to what most people say out on the social media streets because I'm protecting my peace. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I don't really, and the most troubling thing is people are are. are under the premise that Byron Jones is my veteran's defensive source on the team. And I've literally never had a private conversation with Byron Jones. Never. No, we all know, we all know, we all know it's X. It's not Byron Jones. Listen, we all know X is your buddy. Uh, listen, you get in my Were business too dinner? much. I think uh, I caught you at dinner last night somewhere with him. Uh, does something. X need me? No, he does not need me. So uh, listen, um, I, I talked to multiple players. It, it, different levels of players. It, it, it's, you know, one thing I've always known is that, and, and maybe it's because of the team that I cover, everybody's never always all on board with the quarterback. Never. It never happens. Um, at least maybe not since I've been here. The defense usually hates the quarterback. Maybe that's because it was Chad Haney and Ryan Tannehill. They never hated Matt Moore. Um, they, they haven't had they, they haven't had really a franchise guy yet, right? And the, and then yeah. hopefully this is the I, guy. I, I'm wondering. I'm wondering. You can, you can go into this because I'm curious because you covered these teams. Did the Zach Thomas and Jason Taylor era Dolphins defense? Did they dislike they Jay Fiedler? They effing loved Jay Fiedler. That's what I thought. They effing loved Jay Fiedler, buddy. And I thought Jay was just an okay quarterback. So I guess it's just been the, the, the caliber of quarterbacks that they've had or or the nature of 
them not being a leader. And I think Tannehill kind of exposed that this week um, in right. his comments. Yeah. And, you know, say whatever you well, want. Tannehill's, but killed, Tannehill's lived that sheltered life as a quarterback. So it's it's a whole different body. Whereas yeah, I think Fiedler, this, I think this remember, 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 Fiedler was not the first round pick. He was the undrafted, unheralded backup that came in and then did well against the Dolphins in a playoff game. And then when he was here, he was such a tough son of a bitch that he went through so many injuries and he never pointed fingers. He never made excuses when he when even when he made a mistake, he took all the heat for the mistake. I, I, I just think people respected the fact yeah. that Jay Fiedler left everything on the field every time he played. And I think that that's. Nobody will ever tell you, oh, no, Jay Fiedler was a monster and he was a great quarterback, right? He was exactly what you said. He was an okay guy. You know, if he had to throw the out pattern, he had to roll to whatever side he was throwing it so he could make it a little shorter. Sounds you know what familiar. I'm saying? He didn't have, he didn't have, yeah, he, right. He didn't have a gun, but I get it. But but overall, he he was solid for them and he sold out for them. And I think those those players saw that. Yeah. And they appreciate it. They knew deep down inside he wasn't the answer, but they also knew that, okay, well, until you get me somebody better, I'm going to war with this guy. I'm good with him. You know what I mean? And I think that that's what, that's where that bond was that Jay was, Jay sold out, bro. He was, he was as tough as they come and he was a leader. He was a leader. He had leadership qualities to him, you know, good dude, man. Good dude. I like him. I like him. Obviously I like him. Cause I got him here in my room. I got I got a Chad Henny bobblehead. That doesn't mean anything. I I said I like him because he's in my room. That's your problem, not mine. Okay, I that's know. yours. Chad Henny's bobblehead ain't making it in my studio. I'm just saying that's your <laughs> choice. You, uh, you make bad choices in life. There, I I can't help you. You know what I'm saying? I got Jose. I got Ibis. I got Tua, I got Freddie Mercury, I got Dan Marino. Hold on, hold on. You got a Tua bobblehead? Of course. And well, not a not a bobblehead, but a uh... but I got a pop. Tua. I don't even know what a pop is, but Yeah, you live in a bubble. Of course you don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I live in I a bubble. I this interview all the time. Uh, Do you know who the baby Yoda is? Yeah, I know, baby. I haven't oh. watched any of that Star Wars stuff. I don't even know where to start. Not that I'm interested. Me and my, I, my I'm, brother, I'm surprised you even know the two words named Star Wars. Wow. My, you know what? My brother made me. My brother was a sci-fi geek, and he made me watch Star Wars and Star Trek. You know, because I grew up in an era where there was like one TV in the house, so mm -hmm. you had to take turns what you wanted to watch. So right. you made your appointment booking, and goodness gracious, there was always Star Wars or Star Trek on the damn TV. And, and I had to watch that. So as an adult, I sounds never like a pretty watch. cool home. That sounds like a pretty cool home to me. I'm good with both. <laughs> I'm a I'm a bigger Star Wars geek than Star Trek. I like Star Trek, but I'm a Star Wars just. I, I don't. I, I've said this to people, and and they tweeted me about it. But I'm behind on all of them, and I don't oh. even know where to start. Shut like, up. I, I don't know what order to watch them in, where to start. So, and I don't have Disney Plus. So, it's just you know. What do you have this stunned look on your face for? You have a daughter. We're not there yet at the age where she's watching TV and it's all about you know. All right, I'll give you a break. Yeah, we're we're not at that age yet. Where is she? I, well, I, how old I is she? Get there. How old is she? She's fourteen months. You're almost there, bro. Two I years. I know. I'm almost there. there. Okay. All right. Can I well, keep my 12, 1995 well, for well, a, a good six more months? Next May? I better not hear this shit that you don't have Disney Plus. Next okay? May? Oh, next May. Oh, definitely. By two? Yeah, yeah. she's over two. You yeah. got to start feeding her the, the cartoons, bro. And you got to, you know, we Disney. Watch, That's like, we, we watch PBS Kids. I just found a, another baby channel on television. There, There's... There's free TV out there, people. There's free TV. Hey, cheapo, spend a couple bucks, okay? All right? <laughs> All right? 
you're making a couple bucks from this show. You can pay for Disney Plus. Hey, just, man, I got a wife. Those are expensive. A little spare change outside of what we pay you every no, month. Those are expensive. Then I, then I, I got to go get the, the Mother's Day gifts. The mother, Come on, man. These, are, these aren't cheap. These cost I, money. I, there you go. I came through last night. I, I brought the wife two gifts from uh from well actually I gave her a third gift, but that wasn't necessarily wrapped. But you know, it's different. Uh but yeah, you know, nine I'm days. No, it. nine days. You yeah. know, I, I felt like a volcano coming home. Hey, you know, I felt hey. like I felt like Tim Tebow first getting uh married. You know? Is Tebow married? No, he's not married. Yeah, he's married. What? Yeah, he got married, bro. Tim Tebow yeah. got some cutting. Yeah, yeah. Lolo hasn't. That thing is still rotten with webs and shit. Uh, she hasn't used it yet. She's still saving it for one guy. She's in her mid thirties or something. It's like, hey, man, I watched, have, I watched the challenge. You have missed out on years of great sex, Lolo. What is wrong with you? I watched the MTV challenge. That's my thing. That's like the only appointment watching I have other than sports. I have to watch it when uh, when the season's air. And she's been on the challenge. She's been on two. She's been on Superstars, and she's been on um, a regular season of the challenge. And that chick is so tightly wound. I know. And well, she doesn't get laid. <laughs> she I, doesn't get laid. I, I, <laughs> Trust I, me. I, you. you I, 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 I think we know. all get a little uptight when we're not getting laid. You know what I'm saying? So she's that woman is bottled up for solution, years but... now, not getting laid. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's keeping her relevant in society. Like, it is what it is. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's keeping her relevant, but man, <laughs> Dizzy says free TV is called Fire Stick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but hey, but you know what? Disney Plus does have all the movies too. Like somebody yeah. is mentioning, so you can hey, watch. But, but besides the kids, you can watch some stuff on your own. You, you know what? I have a problem with the fire stick and they, maybe this is the era of when I was using it. All the all the updating and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Ah, I ain't got time for that. Right, uh, I got you. I got you. No, I get it. I get it. It makes sense. Just pay for the damn Disney Channel. It's only a couple bucks a month and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. It'll it'll save your ass. All right, so what are you working on this week at the uh, at the Sun Center, what's the angle you're using this week for the Dolphins? Besides uh, the what Tua going to the Super Bowl, you got us. So he, either he can't play, he doesn't have a strong arm, he's too short. Uh, what is it? He's too Polynesian. But now he's you know, you know what's funny. You know what's, what's, funny? what's going on? What's going on? You know what's, what's funny? On? I know I'm not a member of Tua on. I've been no, you're not. You're not on the bandwagon. I, I've, been, I've been kicked off. But we had a question. We just did a, our final episode of X's. We're about to Park. back up the thing and run your ass over, by the way. Not just that you're off, but we're about to back up the damn thing and run your Whatever. ass over. But, go ahead. but there was a question on X's and Omar's. We did one yesterday for so, sort of the final offseason wrap. And the question was, if Tua is an elite quarterback and stays healthy, can this Dolphins team make it to the Super Bowl? And I said, if, if he's like a top – if two is a top 10 quarterback and he stays healthy for an entire season, can this Dolphins team make it to the Super Bowl? And my answer was absolutely yes. And, and the reason why I said yes, which mm -hmm. you can find on the Sun Sentinels website, just to promote some of my content. I teaser, break, teaser. I, what? Teaser, teaser. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I did a breakdown of the entire roster, 2,000 words on breaking down every single position. There is a young player and there is the young developmental player and there is a veteran player in every single unit on this team. There are a defense that basically lost one point, two pointless cornerbacks and safeties. Uh, McCourty, who you didn't really need, and he was a progress stopper. And then Justin Coleman. That's the only pieces you lost on defense. You added Tyreek Hill. You improved your offensive line. Yes, I'm not comfortable with the center spot. Um, you 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 re-signed Mike Gesicki. Uh, you you still have X and Byron Jones. You you at one point in the last two years were probably collectively a top five defense for I'm going to guess maybe 14 of 32 weeks. In the in a regular season, you are a top five defense. 
there's no reason why you shouldn't be a Super Bowl contending team if two is a top ten quarterback. Like, what's well, what's the reason? Right. Well, the, what I would add to you is if two is a top ten quarterback, you are correct. I think they can go really deep and even to the Super Bowl. Why? Because if two is a top 10 quarterback, that tells me they're blocking. That tells me they're running. That tells me that Mike McDaniel and his staff are actually the game planners, game designers that they need uh, in order to, to move forward. That's because, again, I am from the school of two is not the problem. The problem has been the crap around him. So I, if you're I, I'm in the crap around you. him, then I know agreement. that we will move forward. You know people, I mean? people have this narrative that he's the problem. He's thirteen and eight. I know. Like, and, and people were like, "Oh, he's a he's a passenger on those 13 and, and I could give you case by case, game by game instances where he's put the team in position to win, either by giving them a double digit lead by by converting on in the third quarter, and allowing the defense to pin their ears back, or coming from behind, or giving your team the lead, even in losses like against the Falcons and Jacksonville. In the fourth quarter, he hands his defense the lead. They don't take care of business. So, you know, and, and I, I, I'm not of the opinion that he's the problem. I think crap offensive line, bad coaching, um, medi lackluster run game. That, that's been the problem. Is he phenomenal? No. Is he a franchise quarterback yet? No. But he's not the problem. Yeah. Uh just out of curiosity, because I Poopar says he doesn't notice it, but I notice it. But I don't know if you've seen it. Did you see the 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 video perform put out earlier in the week that it showed Tua the year before and then the year after? Did you do you notice the difference? No, I don't in the notice it. No, I okay. don't notice it. All right, I I I I I can tell the hip is more flexible. The pop out of the ball is coming out a little bit faster. I, I mean, you can tell there's it. it there's when, when, I, when I see him, throw you should look it, at it again. Look at it a few times. I, I don't need to look at it on video. When I see him throw in person, and I will have the opportunity to see him throw in person, if I'm still around, I swear to God, I'll tell you. Why? The, yeah. Gazette, the Gazette offered you a uh, contract? I swear to God, I will tell you because it, it, was, it was very noticeable the first time I saw Tua throw. You were like, oh. That arm isn't good. And everybody had the same response. Like, yo, that arm isn't what we thought it was. And he's made the best of it. It's not, you know, to through throws with precision, timing, accuracy. He, 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 he throws balls with arc. And those are good. You could win with that. Chad Pennington had a pretty damn good career with that. Um, Ryan Fitzpatrick doesn't have a superior arm to Tua. There are a lot of quarterbacks out there that don't have the gun, the cannon, the holster. But what Tua needs is a little bit more velocity. And when I see it, I'll, I'll say it. Uh, what, you know, you, last camp, I told you that you could see he's got a better grasp of the offense. He's got more pocket presence. Um, he, you know, no pass rush. So he was executing the offense a lot better uh, in training camp. You, you should see continued progress and continued improvement. Well, I, I listen to me. I, I just think that's what's going to end up happening. If these guys are what we think they are as coaches and as, uh, as game designers, I think that that's definitely going to set them up. All right. Um, are you hearing anything else moves wise that they're going to make? Uh, they do have 20 million under the cap. Um, they always, they always, obviously, they're not as concerned about Dieter than some other folks are, like you also. <laughs> but, but they should be, but they huh? should be okay. But apparently, I mean, they, they I, coach as, up, I, as I wrote in the, column, the guys, the guys that came in are kind of experts on the offensive line. Well, so. No, 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 we're not, we're not, I don't get no, 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 that's right. Isn't that their expertise? Don't they no, know? I don't get them, game? they oh. don't get, they don't. They didn't see it. They haven't seen it. So they watch the film. They no, watch the film. They haven't seen it. Here, here's the thing. I, I and I wrote a column about Dieter, and I feel like I'm picking on Dieter because, you know, he's he's the only weak link on this team, from a from a positional depth standpoint. 
Um, one, there is no legitimate backup to Dieter. Nobody. Unless they're going to have Liam Eikenberg trained That's to fine. play center. Right. There right. is no backup to Dieter. No, now, no. One, one of the, at, what is it? Ty Clary has experience as a center, but I, that's I don't, it. I don't count undrafted players until they start to like whoop ass. I don't, they're invisible. Right, right. No, I, I get you. I get you. But what I'm so, saying is they don't have a lot of experience and that's only. No, like, they have no experience. Has some experience. Nobody has snapped a football on an nope. NFL roster out of, outside of Michael Dieter. And that's a problem considering you, after Dieter went down, you had to have four centers to address the spot. So, you know, Treader, Billy Price, Trey Hopkins, Nick Martin, Matt Paradise. I don't care who it is, and I don't care how much it is. You need a backup here. But my biggest issue is with Dieter, he's never won a starting spot. He's always been gifted a starting spot because of his draft status or because they didn't want to invest in a progress stopper. He's last year with, with Matt Skura. Matt Skura never spent a day with the starting unit. Dieter was gifted that spot. And I think that's an unhealthy practice. His rookie season. Well, but, that, was, but, but, that, but that has nothing to do with these guys. This is a completely new set of it guys. It looks like it's the like, same thing happening. No, it still well, has something to do with these guys because well, that's, a, that's a Chris Greer situation. And Chris Greer has a high opinion of Dieter. Chris Greer claims teams have always tried to try and to trade for Dieter. Okay, where has the field production and performance backed that up? Well, there there are no coaches now. They have coaches, so right. now let's 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 uh, you know, Omar, you want to put the cart before the horse? No, I'm the a, guys I want to play anything yet. Can, can we? I just told you that if Tua is going to be, you know, if they're going to go to the Super Bowl, I told you why. Because it's because McDaniel knows what the hell he's doing, because the line is playing well, all of those kind of things, right? So let's wait till the season rolls around and let's to give Peter an opportunity to be coached up by these guys. To, hold on, because, let's, you're saying let's wait. And, till and by the, the way, how do you know how do you know Mike center? McDaniel didn't love Dieter back a couple of years ago coming out of the draft? Also, you don't he, know that. That's he would have said it. Some, he would have said it. Maybe this guy would have said not. it. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe you, maybe you haven't asked that question yet to him. No, we've asked did, did that you, question. You and, 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 and they're they're cryptic about. Yeah, we got a plan. We're gonna cross train a lot of guys, and you know, maybe Solomon Kinley snapping. Maybe uh, um, uh, oh, Omar. Elite. Omar, listen. When we when we have Pepe Le Pew coaching, and he's never done it at this level, we can question it. When we have Charlie Fry fresh out of high school and two other stooges arguing about offensive calls, we can question Charlie Fry came from college. Whatever one, one he, came from, whatever, whatever he came from, he did nothing in the NFL either. So, but my point is, Frank and Mike and these guys are proven NFL people that know the line, that know running game. So if they like the kid and they haven't shown a desperation to get an option, which obviously he would want an, op an option if he needs one. He wanted a running back that apparently got drafted by somebody else, and he fell out of his chair, right? So he does throw out their options, right? The Eric Uzakama guy, whatever, I'm sure that's a Mike McDaniel, Wes Welker type of thing that came from them. So if those guys so desperately wanted to replace Dieter, don't you think they would have by now, Omar? So uh, no, get, this is a situation where they're the gonna probably wait till people of the benefit of the doubt is all I'm saying. Oh, That's I don't all. give I don't give the Dolphins any benefit of the doubt. Any in any not situation. the Dolphins, Mike McDaniel and Frank give them the benefit of the doubt. I, I don't I don't give if you're if you are with the exception of Tom Garfinkel, if your name is attached to the Tom Garfinkel and probably Jason Jenkins, if your name is attached to the Miami Dolphins in some capacity, I don't care if you're new, you're old, you do not get the benefit of the doubt with me. I'm sorry. I, I, I've watched 20 years of mediocrity, 20 years of bad decision, 20 years of seeing a problem coming and not addressing it. 20 years. 
20 years of not winning a playoff they game. They it. You needed an offensive staff. They got you an offensive staff. Yeah, they cool. It. All right. And when, when, I, when I see it, when I see it, okay. I give you credit for it. But I'm not okay, giving you but, credit but, uh, for it. Okay, but, but if it does happen, don't go playing both sides of the fence here. No, 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 no. When okay. I see I, – I'm very consistent. When I see it <laughs> – yeah, when I see it, playing both sides of the fence and not taking the L. Well, no, when I see it with my eyes, I give you credit for it. Until I see it, you get no credit okay. because you're part of the Miami Dolphins, and I get okay. it. They okay. understand the issue and the crisis here. Twenty years without a playoff win. Twenty years. No, I know. 20, 20, I know. Twenty-two, actually. I know. It's been a. It's been a while. Like, you was got it Seattle? a problem. Was it Seattle or Indy? Which one was it? What was the last win? I think Indy. I'm just Indy? guessing. Your your yeah, your your it was your one of those. It was one of those two, Indy yeah. or Seattle. We we can't we can't you don't get credit for I'm sorry. When you're when you're when you're when you're one of those D and F students for every grade of school, like I don't give you benefit of the doubt when your dog ate your homework. Like, no. Your, your history says no. You just didn't do your homework. And do you like? This, did you like the additions of Chase and Mostert? Yeah, I'm good with it. I I, I don't. I we discussed so this. Why, I don't. So, so if you're good with that, why can't you be good with their decision of Dieter? Have you seen Dieter? I'm just. But it's their eyes, not mine. Okay, They're I've not. seen Dieter. I've seen Dieter okay. for two years as a starter. I it was that, below but, average. But maybe he's not the problem. It's the crap that was around him that didn't help wow. him. And by the way, as Poopart nailed it, he was right about this. Teeter was never Austin Jackson and Eichenberg terrible. Yeah, because he's not to make, to make, to to make him like point out like it was it wasn't like he was a, an incredible liability. Oh, Those guys were liability. I, I, I agree with that. Your point. your boy Jesse Davis was a liability. Listen. But you know what the difference is between Austin Jackson, Liam Eikenberg, and Jesse Davis? They're required to do heavy lifting during the game against the best defensive players. And the center isn't? Yeah, no. Making the, center, the, calls the, center, the, making the calls Jesse on the line? Davis, Jesse Davis, in last year's scheme, was generally, majority of the time, 80% of the time, just a helper. Just let me help, let me help out here. Let me help Wait, out there. Didn't Jesse get Davis, to the second level. Jesse Davis wasn't helping anything, okay? No, I'm talking about Michael Dieter. Oh, I'm okay. Not, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jesse Davis was, I was going to say Jesse Davis was hamburger helper out there, okay? Listen, in defense of Jesse Davis, you asked a guy to play a position, the most important position on the field for a left-handed quarterback, playing out of position on a bad knee. Back, which back was, coaches. With bad coaches, which was a horrible recipe and uh, a recipe for disaster. Well, that's your buddy Flo. You smoked a peace pipe with him. I mean, you did you ask him, like, what, what were you thinking with Jesse Davis? And then he's going to turn to you and say, well, he's your friend. And then you're both, like, screwed in that conversation. Listen, Jesse's not my friend anymore. Um, hopefully we will one day be friends again. Jesse, now you suck. You're no longer my friend. No, 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 no. I mean, I was I was critical. You abandoned them after they suck. Is that is that how it goes? Actually, no, no, no. I I, I never abandoned give you all Jesse that info. Davis. Once you get burned and toast, you're out of here, bro. You're gone. I never abandoned Jesse Davis. Jesse Davis was a little mad at me. Was because I was very ultra critical, as I will be with anybody. Like, it it, it is what it is. You're not performing. You got to get this whip. Like. It, you, it you is what it is. At a time like, hey, we're buds right now, but when you suck, I just want you to know I'm, I'll be ripping you. So you tell them that. <laughs> you tell them at a time, hey, I love you, man. We got a great relationship going until you Listen, can't play. Listen, those old I know, I'm coming. Those old I know, I'm obsessed with that unit. I've written, what, three columns on the old line this offseason? You get yeah, yeah. it. It, it, it like. Yeah, yeah. Your, your obsession with your obsession with Jesse Davis was not healthy, by the way. Stop it. Let it let it go. Listen, Jesse Davis, God bless him, because we we'll we'll see we'll see. Austin Jackson will be out there at the most important position. 
You think if Austin Jackson could have played right tackle, they wouldn't have put Austin Jackson at right tackle? Uh, just I was just thinking about this. Jesse should actually change his name to Prudential because that's exactly what you're going to need when he's blocking in front of you. We'll see when he plays in Minnesota. So now when you see a jersey next year and it says Prudential, you're going to go, what the hell is – oh, that's Jesse Davis. I, I don't get the Prudential joke other than insurance. What am I missing here? Yeah, insurance, like health insurance, like, you know, the guy's going to get killed. Like Prudential ain't health insurance. Yeah, they do, don't they do all kinds of insurance? Don't they do health also? I no? What do they do, just home and car? Let me see. You shouldn't be talking about insurance that isn't a sponsor of the Big O Show. We don't have one yet, so Prudential, step up, let's go. We need a we need a an insurance company. Let me see. Prudential. I certainly need some better insurance. What what do you have on your car? You know, I have a guy. Uh, my car is fine. It's the home. Jesus Christ. My yeah. insurance went up like five hundred dollars. My my mortgage went up like five hundred dollars a month. I think it's I think it's only life. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's only life. There's no health in Prudential. So you're saying Jesse Davis is going to get somebody killed. Okay, got you. Yeah, that's what I kind of meant, that uh, you're going to need some some, uh, some medical insurance. So, okay, so, we're, oh, so we'll do, um, uh, what's the, um, uh, what's the, the, the name of that uh, Spanish? Oh, Aflac. Yeah, we could call him Aflac. But what's the name of the local one? The the Hispanic one that they're all over the place. They even uh they even uh do it in the Super Bowl, man. They're all over the place. What's their name? Come on, somebody help me out. That damn Hispanic one. But the Aflac one would be good. That's perfect. So he actually he should go play for the Ducks. Listen. Um, their plan is to have Austin Jackson play right tackle. At least that's the tentative plan. Um, I'm, 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 I'm more comfortable with Liam Eikenberg than Austin Jackson. Austin Jackson has people cross his face way too much. Leon um, Medical Center. That's it. Leon Medical Center. There are Leon in the back. That would be awesome right there. Um, so with that said, yes, uh, we'll see how horrible Jesse Davis was and, and a different scheme. So I, I, you know, I'm, I'm okay with right tackle from this standpoint, there's a lot of bodies here. There's a lot of bodies here that should be able to play that position. And if we're going off what most offensive line coaches do, which is play the best five, I have a hard time believing Liam Eikenberg isn't going to be in the top five. So, and, you know, we'll we'll figure it out. But I don't understand why. So why why are you more confident about Liam Eikenberg becoming the right tackle and Michael Dieter not becoming a competent center? Um, because I've got two years of sample size on, on Michael Dieter and it's just okay. And one on Eichenberg and it was bad. It was, uh, it was, it was bad at times, but I think you were asking to play a position that wasn't, you know, you're asking, you threw him into the deep end of the pool. He drowned a couple of times. Like let's put him in. Dieter, Dieter, Dieter's pos natural position is not center. Dieter's natural position is not center. Dieter's a guard. Right. Okay. And I'm just saying, he played guard. The he played breaks are giving Eichenberg. You're not giving Dieter. You know, hell, Dieter played tackle in a game that he, they needed him desperately, and kid didn't complain and anything. And you know. okay, so so because somebody doesn't complain about their job, they deserve. No, I'm just saying. I'm just play. saying he was a team guy. I'm saying he's been a team guy. Who is the team guy? Just, you think Jesse Davis playing out of position on a bad knee is the team guy? Some some guy named Fitzpatrick. What about Fitzpatrick? Why is he not a team? I don't know. He said he said he wanted to be the you know jack of all trades coming out of the draft, and then when they wanted to move him around the secondary, Minka said, "Ah, no, I'm not doing oh, that. I'm not Minka, a team not player. Um, no, Minka your buddy Flo. Wanna, Minka just didn't want to be here. Minka just hated Flo. No, Minka didn't want to be here. Actually, Minka has a good relationship with Flo." According to my Pittsburgh Post Gazette sources, Pittsburgh he has a good relationship with Flo. I, so I, I, they're giving I, you access in the locker room in Pittsburgh, but not in Miami. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I was quite surprised that I, I asked about it, and they were like, "Yeah, they get along great. It really, you know, 
Well, it, it's good for you because Mink is still a good player, so you can be friends with him. I'm, I'm once, not he, once he sucks, then you can cast him aside. But for Mink, now, you know what's funny? Mink was very weary of me because that's the corner I hang out in. Who wouldn't be? A lot of people wouldn't be. Jalen Waddle isn't weary of me. Ah, gotcha. I, he probably doesn't know you enough. That's what it is. It's uh, you know, eventually, <laughs> once he knows, once he, he knows yeah, enough, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not a scary dude. If you if you don't perform, I bring it up. Like there shouldn't be, there shouldn't be there shouldn't be any issue. Here here's here's my theory on all this on on on, on my reputation. Am I saying to you anything that your coaches are not saying to you behind the scenes? I don't know. I mean, they believe in Michael Dieter. You don't. They believe so in just Tua. Just because I say it in public. You, you want to go trade for every other quarterback except Tua, but they believe in Tua. You, you know why I stopped putting out clips of, of players' performances after games, the highs and the lows? Why is that? Because they they just got in their feelings so much. It's like, okay, you can do a film study with your entire team, and the coaches can call you out. Your entire team or the union, the coaches can call you out for the exact same play, but I put it on social media, and I'm the bad guy. Yeah, that's kind of the way it works out. Well, say goodbye, good night to the bad guy. Say goodbye to the bad guy. Say All right, so what are you working on? What are you working on the Sun Sentinel bad guy before you leave? Uh I'm not. I'm going to F1 race. Oh, okay, good for you. Are you? Uh, do, they, do they have you covering it? Oh, okay. All right. No, who's got the assignment? Somebody got the assignment. Who got it? Dave Hyde. No, know. Dave Hyde's a play. Dave Hyde's all the play. All the good teams in South Florida. We we got enough of a staff. Oh, F the F one is not a team, but that's a hell of an event, bro. That's yeah, a it's a hell of an event, event, and it's an important event to cover. But unfortunately, what has driven newspapers within the last, I would say, five years, if not decade, is. We deliver what gets you gets us clicks, right. and if it don't get us clicks, right. we're not doing it. No matter how right. important it is, it's just not worth our resources. Now, are you and going to the event as in the media scrum, or did you actually get tickets? I'm I'm with my father, my uncle as fans. I'm only going today. Um, oh, they, today, yeah. They they are big racing guys. This was high on their priority list of things to do. I had no idea how important this race is, and it's a huge race oh, yeah. worldwide. Yeah, of course. It's F1. I didn't know that. We, we, I know we, you live in a bubble. We understand. We, we understand. Omar is the boy in the world bubble, right? Or Because it's not really a plastic bubble, because that's only John Travolta is allowed in that plastic bubble. I protect myself. But yes, you are you are very protected from everything. Clearly, there's no doubt about that. Life goes completely past you, and you've never never see it. You only I see. see it. This is why you only live dolphins, and that's kind of been you know that's it's kind of been your misery the entire time. <laughs> I see it. It is. It is. I, no. No doubt. The description of misery is an accurate description of what my experience has been. Yep, your years with the Canes and then the Dolphins. You have been really no, no, no. Good. I had good years with the Canes. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, you, I only you had did, one you bad did, You did get some of the good stuff. Okay, all right. I got the good stuff, and I got back-to-back -back Peach Bowls, and I got the Boise Bowl, where a player got killed that season, and the team was in a a, a fog, and college landscape. Sounds like a lot of fun. That was a really fun season to cover then. No, it was a bad season to cover. It really oh, okay. was. Right. But but my right, did you cover my any team, of the birds dying on the Boise State field? Murdered, diving murdered, into the field. murdered. Player was murdered. No, no. But how about the birds that would die on the Boise State field? I never diving saw any in, that, thinking but I, I that had was a cool. great time in Boise. I will say that. Wait a minute. You, hold on a second. You didn't know about that story? I've heard about that story, but I, I didn't oh, see okay. any of that. I didn't. I, okay. You know, I didn't see birds die. Oh well, it's a blue. You know, you think it's water. You're bad. I see. I see, funny and keep this. Keep this. Birds. You know the dolphins' new practice facility. You know yeah. the first year with all the glass that they have on the practice yeah. facility and and the and and the the bubble. Right. Birds kill themselves every day. 
crashing into it. Nice. There we so, go. So I, I, I felt bad. Oh, they, oh, they, oh, they were angry birds, like the commercial. No, no, yeah, no, they just fly into it thinking it's clear and boom, break their neck. You have no idea what I was talking about before the angry birds? I know about angry birds, but I've never seen the movie. I, I've never played the game. How about the commercial? Have you seen the commercial? The yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. But yeah, dude, I gotta tell last... you, once in, a while, once in a while we score and you get one. Uh, that's hey, pretty good. but listen, I didn't know that birds die when they crash into glass. Well, they we're going them. at a high rate of speed. I mean, you know, you might want to try yourself going at a high rate of speed running into a wall. See how that works out I, for you. I've done that. Who hasn't done that? In, into a... ask, ask Gus Farratt how that worked out for I him. didn't die, though. Neither did Gus Farratt, but he ended up concussed and out for the year after that, after he Headbutted the wall after scoring and a touchdown. Came to Miami and had a phenomenal season. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Only to fall short of the playoffs, but that's all right. He won I got to look at those numbers and see if those numbers would be a good year for Tua. The landscape hey, again. There you go. You just had you had to put Gus Farrat and Tua in the same sentence. I'm saying right. it. Was, we're talking about it being a phenomenal season, right? No, it, I didn't say it was a phenomenal season. I just said it was nine and seven, and they fell short of the playoffs. Okay, that's all I said. That's all I said. It, this is a man that headbutts a wall. I Who does those things? Yeah, look up the stats. I gotta look up those Gus, stats. See if that would be good. Gus Farad forgot his stats after ramming his head into walls. All right, follow him on Twitter at Omar Kelly. Catch his. Wait for the stats. Show. It's just for rot stats. I mean, I'm just saying, but if, if Tua gave you those stats, nah, 18 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, I'm good. Nah, you'll yeah, do, do better. This year it'll be 30 plus. Good Lord. I thought that was a good season. It was mediocre. Nine and seven. They didn't make the playoffs. You know, it's. Yeah, he, he had a 71.9. Oh, oh. Pass it's Gus Farratt. Why? What are, we, what are we doing here? It's Gus Farratt. The man runs into walls. It's not a guy we really want to talk about right now. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just stay away from. It. That's not a time we really want to even really enjoy highlight or even you know. What? what and discuss. what about the last two decades? Is something you want to enjoy highlight and discuss from Dolphins land? Ricky Williams. Jason Taylor, Zach Thomas, Sam. Yeah, Madison. I'm talking about seasons, not 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 individuals. Ah, the Ricky Williams season, the 1800 yard season, was fun. That was fun, bro. That was Wasn't fun. Wasn't that Gus year? I'm not even sure who was farrotting then. I have no idea who was farrotting then. The 1800 yards. Wow, he was that mediocre with 1800 yard rusher. That's bad quarterbacking, bro. Oh God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me if make you sure. have that kind of a running game, I wish Tua had an eighteen hundred yard back. Oh my no, god. No, Ricky Williams season was two thousand and two. And 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 that was what Fiedler, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. Eighteen hundred rushing yards. Whoa, that's we started the show crazy. with it. We end the show with it, baby. Fiedler. It's all about Jay. There Good dude. Go. Yeah, great dude. Great dude. All right, follow him on Twitter because he's a great dude, too, at Omar Kelly, even though he hates uh, Tua, and we got him off the bandwagon. But that's all right. We'll run Are him right serious? over. Are you serious? I hate Tua. I, ah, I, well, I, you don't believe uh, in him. You're a uh, Tua non, on the last X's and Omar's, the most recent X's and Omar's, I sing to his praises. I know, but next week you won't, and then next month you will, and then the Because I don't have to be a blind-ass fan. There's, there's, I don't, I don't have to be a blind-ass fan. Thing. It's a seesaw. There's this, you know, uh, there's straddling fence. There's on one side, then you're on the other side. Yeah, you got to make, you got to have conviction. As you say, I don't have to be a blind ass fan. There are issues that he has to address. Okay. All right. All right. I will personally stay. Blind ass fan alerts. Look out, everyone. We've got a blind ass fan coming through. You see Gus Farad at the end? Huh? That was Gus Farad at the end. <laughs> see? Everything comes full circle on this show. Fiedler, <laughs> Farad. It's the way it works, bro.
It's the way it works. All right. Make sure you subscribe to the South Florida Sun Sentinel so you can get his crazy articles about Tua. And, of course, follow him on Twitter at Omar Kelly so he can tell you about all the stuff that uh, Tua is not doing playing football, like golfing and surfing and video gaming. Playing the ukulele. Yeah, yeah, he's at hockey games now. Video oh, my gaming. God. How dare he attend a hockey game he went to in hockey game? the off season? Huh? He went to he went yeah, to the he playoffs? The, yes, he was at the Panthers yesterday, which, which Omar. Which teammates was he with? No, he was with his family, I think. That's what I think I saw, mostly family, and he was with the Panther jersey and everything. So you can catch up to the rest of us, yes. Tua was out there. But how dare he go to a hockey game in the offseason? I mean, how lazy is that? Hey, bro, Spending listen. Thursday night at On at, Tuesday, at your day off, they want you in the building. That's, that's all it is. That's all it is. He was all he was all Panther decked out, boy. On that Tuesday, true. they want you in the building. He'll be there. He'll be there. Right. I, I I heard you were going to be his caddy. Is that true? I would love to be his caddy. I'm sure, you would. Probably give the wrong clubs. I would actually. You, you know, love you'd be the flow. You'd be the flow caddy because you'd sabotage his game. I'm not, need I'm not, to, I'm not need to punch you give him a driver. Sabotage. Uh, of course, not. no. He, Flo, no, he would never sabotage him. Yeah, Flo would never sabotage anything. Flo just cares about winning. Of course. Winning his way, which indirectly sabotaged himself, which is great. That is that is key. All right, we're out of here. Follow him on Twitter at Omar Kelly for the eighth time. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you next week, my brother. Have a great weekend. All right, man. You got it. There you go. Oh, Mar Kelly getting it done here on our uh, EJDconstruction.com Miami Dolphins report. This is the big old show.